Guys, welcome to the 37th episode of Comics and Consoles. I, as always, am your host, Winston Hodges. And uh, with us is we have the very young, uh, <laughs> the newly haircutted. Yes. Uh, Alex, Alex. Just Gaffey. for the show. I know it's a big deal, so I try to look nice. He got rid of his ponytail for this, which we're very excited about. He's got a nice do, a nice haircut. And uh, Alex is a good guy. Uh, he's all right. I, uh, I, I like him fine. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we were pressed for time and we needed to get an episode out and he was in town. So, uh, it was good. It's, it's, uh, dude, thanks for... Thanks. They're, they're honored to have me here. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to see me. It's, uh, there's uh, no one watching this oh, at all. Dude, the ratings are going to be it's, uh, nuts for this. Three, we might, for the my, first time, you guys three, might my break three, triple digits. My three subscribers just unfollowed. <laughs> <laughs> they just unfollowed, and it's just my mom has three accounts. You guys That's might break <laughs> that whole 50 thing. I got something special for you because you're you're an infant, you're a toddler. Thank you're you. like uh, seven years old, and Thank you go to you. VCU, so I uh, basically nursery school. And uh, I got for you, for the original PlayStation, a system that came out before you were born. Um, it's called Miss Spider's Tea Party. Ooh. Uh, which is from the wonderful imagination of David Kirk, who I'm assuming uh, is a convicted sex offender. Uh, right up my alley. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, play this. It's going to suck. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's rated E for everyone. And there's like eight mini games, and it's for children three to seven years old. So you're right at the top part, uh, and you'll be fine. Three to seven, that's it? Yep, three to seven. So you're going to be the only one that gets to play. Okay. So are you yeah. ready? Ready for Miss Spider's Tea Party? Oh, I'm ready. All right, cool. Let's play. I'm ready. All right, cool. That's the episode, man. Thanks for... Uh, right, thanks. <laughs> we, uh, we, we basically, after that, it's... Uh, we just screenshot other people playing the game, and I, <laughs> yeah, and then like, I do, and I do both people's voices. <laughs> <You're> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man, ready? Yeah. All right, so let's play uh, Miss Spider's Tea Party here. Let's go. Um, uh, Should I do hard? No, we're gonna do easy. Um, here, you do hard. Doesn't matter. I'll do medium. I like that medium's the same color. I feel like I. Oh, played. what do you know? An invitation. Uh, that's what popular kids get to go to birthdays. Uh, I know you've never <laughs> gotten one of those. Uh, I got cease and desist. Guys, you don't know, but uh, but Alex and I have a have a pretty interesting relationship. Um, <laughs> this I can go am, two ways. I uh, we got a pretty interesting relationship. I am actually uh, I I I uh, I'm dating Alex's mother. Yeah, wait, and, what uh, the second one? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm dating Alex's mother, you know. And I'm trying. What's to, her name? I'm trying to be the best uh, stepdad that I can possibly be. <laughs> And uh, I was really glad that you know I was able to have old Alexander come he down. He took me here. off the streets. I did. Took him off the. Took him off the streets. I didn't know so. how to throw a baseball. He took me and he said, "Hey, kid, let me show you some." Converted his mother to Christianity, which we're really pleased with, and we're hoping that is, that that is true. <laughs> that is a little nugget of uh, my life. Yeah, and I didn't uh, think I. You know, we're working on saving Alex and Al uh, Al Alexander, but let's pick a game, Alex. Yeah, I don't like that one. What is what is happening here? Uh, she said she hopes Grampy Spider can come to the party. Well, between you oh, and me, oh look at these me creepy too. ass graphics. I'm uh, I'll be yeah. This guy looks like I can't because I'll be too busy playing Warhammer by myself. <laughs> I got a tabletop uh, that I made out of web. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> clever. I have a web uh, tabletop there. He's a there. spider. Uh, it's good. Uh, Alex and I, with the way the court systems worked it out, oh, I, uh, I get to, I get to see Alex every other weekend. Well, he has the body of a weekend. As, uh, I have uh, I have every other. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, he this knows is it. the body. Yeah, Everyone but... he walks past knows it. Oh, they they, they can see it. Uh, the one with the three brown earthworms. Can you find two red ladybugs? I tell you what, there are ones on their back about to get. Sixty-nine or eighty-nine. I just learned. Oh, one blue cat. Come on, is this? Do we, are we playing on hard? What's easy? This is medium. What's easy? Hit X. <laughs> Hit any button. Three beetles. Oh, you were saying that's what easy was like. Yeah, I, was like, I thought I, you were rushing. Oh, uh, <laughs> Hit X. I was like, it's the wrong move. We're on a speed run here. Three Beatles. Yeah, oh, where's, where's Ringo? <laughs> all right, that's uh, all right. That's a little too. Ooh. That's not a beetle. No, that is. A, that is a blue bee. They're wrong. They're very wrong here. Oh no no, these are the Beatles. That's right. Well, I'm there's stupid. only two Beatles left. Did you know that? Are you a Beatles guy? Um, I used to be a Beatles guy. What grade? But then I, but then you know, I was like, I don't like this shit, so I'm just really into the Archies. 
Really? Oh, yeah. Mm. What do you listen to now? You listen to Joe. I don't know if you do even know who the Archies yes, are. The Archies. Okay, good. Of course you do. Hey, Alexander. Uh, I think my favorite thing about Alexander is um, he's the kind of guy that walks into a room and he sees an electric guitar that's not plugged into anything. <laughs> And he'll pick it up and play it. Oh, I know how to shred. Which is, uh, which is basically like, I love video games. And it's like if I walked into Alexander's room, saw an N64 controller, and just started picking it up. It's not even plugged in. I'm just like, dude, I love the way this feels. But it is. Star Fox. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, like, hey, you... Alexander, I'm, uh, I'm doing a barrel roll over here. <laughs> doing a barrel. But it's different. It's different because you can hear my noodling on the guitar. And you're like, oh, he has some prowess. Oh, yeah. The With difference, that, is, like, this difference is you're is actively fucked. annoying other people. Who are... <laughs> I just look like a tool holding up a controller. Oh, really? Because she got across it. Yeah, she got across it just fine. We need a wall. We'll come. It's not even about getting over this. It's like, we're just going to come if you got the old cuppy cakes there. Cuppy cakes. Oh, nice. Oh, like a nice, uh, not nice frogger. Nice little frogger. Yeah. Dude, look at that sperm that they got going across <laughs> the river. Can you angle it? No, it's oh. literally just pressing up. Come on, Spermy McBurmy. What? I did. Oh, you got to get them all? But I feel like I... What the fuck is happening? Do you have to get on the the dirt? Part? I don't know. You're gonna. Oh, oh that was. Yeah, right, you that... I think you have to get on the dirt part. What do you know there? It's a uh... hop on the log. There all you right, go. Right, right. We made it. What was the first video game you got into? Uh, like ever? Sure. Um. Uh, oh, that's a toughie. Do you already have an answer for what your first one was? While I think of mine. Yeah, mine. Oh, and you got to get them on the different. Like that's, that's you know cool. that's how I think every conversation should go. Is every time anyone's ever asked a question, mm -hmm. they want you to ask that question back to them, right? Like that's that's part of the that's part I of the think question, so. or not even like they want. Like I, I I I'm not the of the mindset of where I thought you only asked that because you want to talk about yours. I think you're generally interested because no, yeah. you were thinking about what yours was. So my thing's like, why not every time someone asks that question, just turn around and be like, all right, while well, I think of my answer. Tell me the one that you've already been thinking about Well, that's <laughs> for 10 minutes. You want me? Yeah, so tell me what's well, the first game you got into, because I know that's what was on your mind. No, it wasn't. I, I was thinking about how we're playing video games, and you have like 2,500 video games. So That's, like, uh, that's uh, a number that I, I usually tell people, but uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the big reveal there. We will bleep that you number can, out. You can, uh, it's seven video games. He said seven. <laughs> I only have seven. Uh, Nathan provides all the games. I, I In no way, shape, or form... Do I have 2,500 video games alphabetized by uh, system and uh, company? This, that's you not a thing. You can track that I have. the growth of his video games and the. Oh, what? Oh, you can. Oh, oh this is oh. dynamics. That was pretty cool. That was literally the. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen you do. Oh, I know it. Oh, right you've seen there. me have some. What's the hardest you've seen me bomb? Ooh, sad house. Uh, you bombed. Oh, really last time. Oh, oh yeah, really that was a, that was a hard bomb. Is Garden Grove the hardest you've seen me bomb? I bombed real no, hard that night. That no. was really bad. What, Garden Grove? Yeah. But no, that doesn't. Everyone was bombing. But the, what was a good feel? You bombed the Golden Pony. I went up, cleaned up your mess. Oh yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. You went up and cleaned up my mess. That's, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we're remembering that. Uh, remembering that correctly. That's exactly. Oh, what I happened. have the recording. I have. I made sure you were bombing, so I recorded the last five of yours. And, what was I doing? And all five. What were you doing? What you was were I not doing? doing well. You did a Tinder joke that I had never heard before. Okay. About how. You saw the girl. Oh, that was. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. So you oh, did that, and you hung in on the details, and you would hit like a jab, and yeah. they'd be like, okay. Yeah. And then, and then I could see it. You, you got the like. I'm but, about to wreck but, these. But but I didn't. But you did. I did not. I was a professional. I was doing a little bit of time on that show, and I was like, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin this. This show. is him downplaying it. Uh, I didn't a little bit of time. This is his residential. His. I like how the residency. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, uh, it's not my fault. That, um, what is this? Pity. It's a matching. I mean, what is this? Oh, but did they show it to us beforehand? Yes. Oh, I You weren't paying have. attention. Yeah. I did not. I got the old ADHD. Oh, that was a good guess there. I feel like Rain Man. That's a good guess there. A good game. So, um, Sados was a hard bomb, but I know I bombed harder. 
Yeah, but that's not not what I've been watching. Well, you don't watch my. I'm trying to think of the worst. I've watched um, too much of your comedy. No, you've watched too little. I've watched. Too I think much everyone's of seen a little too little of my comedy. That's that else was weird. I don't know what. A, I think I was like, well, I got you ten s- minutes. Of- yeah, you did ten minutes, and uh, you went pretty early in the show. Well, I don't want to blame that, but it was yeah, more no, of like no, I did. I'm in I did all half baked. But I'm trying to. I like something stands out as the worst time. Oh, it was in New Jersey. It was in New Jersey. Yeah, I wasn't there. Why was that? Why was that show bad? It was full of old Jews, okay. like old Jewish men, and their old Jewish men, their type of humor is, uh, tell me about how much you don't want to fuck your wife. Yeah, I know. So, I didn't have that. Catskills type of Maybe. Jews, like that type of thing? Or? No, like New Jersey, like, Okay. I don't know. Like they, they got like there were guys in the audience. It was an early show who had tuna fish sandwich. Like it was very New York, New Jersey. That's pretty Jew. funny. So like the oh hello, very oh hello, like, like that type of like juice. one. I remember one guy's joke. I don't know if I should say it, but it, like it gives you a good. What's the joke? It's not a bad joke. He's like one of the most more notable older. Like he's like seventy. Yeah. And he's like, uh, my phone wasn't taking a charge. We don't match. So I took it into I'm, I'm totally fucking up I'm totally forgetting where all these guys are um so he's like I took it into we don't match try again I took my phone into the uh, Apple store and um I was like hey my phone's not taking a charger thing it's broken I need a new one and they're like no and they take a little thing and they just clean the lint out of the charging port and then it took a charge and he goes you did that to his wife's vagina hey, can you do that to my wife is that what it, oh god so if you break that joke down it's hey my wife doesn't have a fuckable vagina. Can you clean the lint out of it? Yeah. <laughs> then it'll is... work. Then yeah, it'll then work. Then it'll, my penis will... All right, you give this one a couple swings, because I can't. I got a quick memory. Uh, yeah, my memory is fucking shit. I saw a therapist over the summer, and he said, uh, my ADHD is a big reason for all my misery. I, I think I'm about to start seeing one. Really? Yeah. Just for another person to brag to and um, shit? No, just, uh, just figuring some starts. stuff out, you know? Good, dude. Uh, uh, I tell you what. I need, I, I need five minutes on uh, therapist, and uh, I figure this is the easiest way to get it. Oh, I had a good five minutes. I'm getting a good one. You heard my depression, Joe. Uh, I do. I like it. It's pretty good. Um... What's the... I'm trying to think of the, the best I've ever seen you do. I think it was probably at the last Southern, Southern show. Yeah. Uh, and you but, had, of you course, had, you did not say that to me. You said you did okay. You'll write a good joke sometime. Yeah, you will. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say you were great. I said you did uh, you, the best I've seen you do. In the audio, and I made sure to do this when I went up to you, I uh, kept the audio going yeah. to hear the uh, nice, great set. Yeah. Did that I say I got, that? Yeah. Alright, cool. You can, fucking, fist bumps. <laughs> you can fap to that forever. I was too busy trying to uh, get your no, mom to go out with me. And, What's uh, the hardest you've ever bombed without hate fucking? Actually, I'll, hate, I'll let you include hate fucks. Here's the thing. Um, I've bombed only one time really, really, really hard with a with a huge crowd. Yeah? Like where like every other time like I've, I've done okay, I've done fine. That's like ho- It's weird because it's like they're either hosting spots where it's like people aren't paying attention and by the end of it I've done well um the worst I've ever felt after a set mm. <laughs> oh is this uh was I like, know the real worst what which one's the real worst the, the old Penny Lane uh that's the angriest I've been after angriest. a set okay but like uh the, what is this shit uh, oh I'm good at this you want me to play a little guitar want me to play a little drums what am I fucking doing? I think you're... Are you matching it with the sound? Hey, it just don't sound right. What type of instrument is that? That's a ma- I'm literally matching it to the instrument. What instrument is that? Uh, oh. Well, violin or cello. No, that sounds like a bassoon. I don't know what that is. So you were going to... That's, really... a, that's a uh, saxophone. No, no, no. I don't know what a bassoon is. So I'm saying like, I'm not going to scroll over and, and for oh. five minutes be like, oh. that's a bassoon. Those are bassoons. Uh, but it was in Charlottesville. I'm at the Jefferson Theater. And, you bombed at the Jefferson? And, and it was... I am hosting... That a, seats like 400 people. I am hosting a show <laughs> that is a music show. And the music show <laughs> is an is a Christmas ugly sweater uh, yacht rock oh, cover concert. Yacht rock? What is uh, that? 
uh, like I, I don't even know what it's called. It, like it's if you look it up, you'll know it right. Yeah, it's like easy listening kind of, but like rock and easy listening like stuff that you would listen to on the yacht on a yacht if you're in, like we're in the a 70s. maniac. Uh, I don't know what what's yacht rock, Nathan? How would you explain it? It's like uh, Hall and Oates, Kenny Loggins. Chris You'd call Hollow Notes Yacht Rock? Yeah. Okay. Like kind of smooth rock. Alright. That's fair. Brian Adams. But so, I'm there. I'm hosting this show. Uh, and they're like... I'm about to quit this game. I don't like this one. It doesn't make sense. And they're like, alright. Here's what we got you doing. You're gonna, cut the, you're gonna get a cut of the door. I got a nice paycheck. I, I did pretty well. Uh, and by nice, I mean it was literally okay. But it was like, it was just enough to where like... Like, I found out that night that my dignity is literally worth $125. <laughs> like, that is the exact... Anything less than that, I would have been... Wh- they still paid you? Yeah, of course they pay me. They, they gotta pay you if you don't, uh, you, I did if my, you don't curse, right? Oh, I did my time. No, no, no. It wasn't about, it's not about cursing. No, what I mean in terms of, like... This wasn't a clean show, baby. This was... Your, I know, but, like, when you're on a clean show, they only not pay you if you curse or you freak out. Yeah, but, like, even if... I feel like if you curse, um... If they if they didn't tell you if you curse you don't get paid they still have to pay you. Ooh, um, good to know. But here's the here's the deal. I uh, I'm I'm doing the show uh, before the first band. The Jefferson's huge. Yeah, that's the Jefferson why it's is awesome that you bombed. It's there. huge. There's no one there. <laughs> There's like sixty five people, and they are. What was this? They are. Uh, it was around like a little before Christmas. This is like. I, I, oh, so you you have been doing, you've like, done some gigs. I've been doing comedy for like a year and a half. Right, because if I was in front of sixty five people, I would be like, all right, this no, is cool. It's sixty five people. They're not at the stage. They are all the way back at the bar in the back. So they're like, all right, here's what we want you to do. We want you to do fifteen to twenty up top. Uh-huh. Bring on the first band. Then we're gonna do a uh, raffle that you're gonna do, mm-hmm. and then. You're gonna do another uh, 15 minutes of material before the second band, and I was like, okay. So you're doing like half an hour. Yeah, it's like fine. I got that. I can do half an hour. Okay. Fuck, bro. So I go. The first half of the show, I'm doing great. Mm-hmm. The first opening thing, I'm literally doing super well. It's one of those things where it's like it's a little weird because there's two people literally standing right at the stage, mm-hmm. and then 60. Everyone else. <laughs> 60 over. But I tell a joke. And I would wait six seconds, and then the laugh would come to me. Hmm. Like I was getting laughs a- actively. Like but I, it, they were far but it, enough. To they're far away where it's like I can hear the laughs, but it's like whatever. But the people who were sitting in the back that like I had brought with me, I had brought like two or three people. They're like, yeah, you were doing really well in the first part. First band goes up. <laughs> this place gets packed during this first band, and these people are fucking obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> like these people have showed up late. They're not there on time, so they don't even know there's a host to this show, let Let alone alone that this dude was doing comedy, and let alone that, oh, this this little uh, uh, wafy dude is going to come out and do time (laughs) after a raffle. So they're wasted. I'm standing in the back like, this is going to suck. Oh, you knew it. You knew. Oh, there's like 250, 270 people there. So the first band ends. What's I'm, the demographic? Just old, first drunk white uh, people in Seville. Twenty year olds to forty five year olds, just wasted white people. And Charlottesville too. So you got to come out, young, nice Aryan boy. Yep. So here's try a, and dazzle them with your hoo ha. So here's what's going on. I'm there. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm hanging out. I'm sitting in the back watching these people be so rowdy. I'm like, I'm like, this is not. This isn't good. Uh, the band does a couple encores, so it's eating into my time, and I'm like. Oh, yeah. So the time's going away. So now I have to do a raffle, which he said, oh, the raffle will take like a minute. He said, take a minute. Mm -hmm. Uh, I made sure that raffle (laughs) took literally as long as it possibly could. These people weren't paying attention, and I was giving them hundreds of dollars. They were getting money, and people. We called four names, and people didn't. People just didn't come up. No, didn't come up. No, into a microphone. But it's taking time. So here's where I'm down to five minutes. All I've got to do is five minutes. Okay. And I. What jokes did you go with? I proceed to do five minutes Uh of the. And here's the thing that sucks. If I knew it was going to be that bad, I would have opened with more of my B sides and the deeper cuts. Ugh. And the first I hate thing, that he calls them I don't know what else to call them. The the ones that I don't. I just hate aren't that you polished. think some of your j- jokes are classics. Well, not classics. I didn't say classics. <laughs> I said the B sides. I know, but if I asked you what jokes of yours are classics, you would have an answer. 
Uh, and by classics, you mean jokes that work in front of a lot of audiences. I do. I would have I think, But that's what I wish that I would have done. I would have wished I had saved those for the five minutes. Like the five minutes that I do with the funny bone to host. Like that material I had done in the first part. I wish I had had it where I could just go out there and be like, oh, boom, 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 boom. Punchline, mm-hmm. punchline, punchline, whatever. And just okay. gotten out of there. Club, yeah. Nope. Boom! I'm doing autism material, <laughs> and I am like, and these people have no idea who I am or what autism or what is. it is, and I'm just doing it to an empty room, and it is the longest five minutes I've ever been a part of in my life. Now five, I'm watching the clock. There's a literal <laughs> clock that has timer, and it's just like timing down to the thing, and I'm just standing, and I'm doing my time, baby. And, I, and dude, I'm in the middle of a joke, and the timer hits, and I was like, all right, you guys suck. I uh, make some noise for your next band. Blah, 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 blah. And they came out, and it was like, and, and I'm just in the back, and I'm just like, where the <laughs> fuck do I get my check? Like, when do I get my check? Oh, my God. So that God. is the hard, that's the worst I've ever felt after bombing. So when you Cause, went on. Because I've bombed plenty of times when there's no audience there. Because even at Golden Pony, there's no way there was more than five people there. No. Like at that show. You no, know what I'm saying? It was, it was, I know. I'll tell you exactly what yeah. it was. It stuck out. It was six people. Yeah. Three couples. Yeah. You went to do crowd work with an older guy. And the dude guy. would not even he talk to me. He would not him. speak to you. Yeah, would not speak to me. Would not speak to and you. And so the typical uh, rule would be I would, be very, would be very mean to that person. And I, oh, I, but you could. He was one I wasn't. of those. I didn't feel like being mean to him. And I, you know what? I just didn't want to derail the show because it was one of the shows where I was going up earlier than most. Because I'd asked Paige to let me. Yeah, let you me opened go for me. I appreciated that. And so, no, I needed Thanks. the credit. And um, it's uh, it's good. And uh, but it's insane. Can you, like, do you see a butterfly? Because that's our whole shtick here. Is that it? Okay. But um. That, this might be a bad way to find out I'm colorblind because this all. Is yeah, so it's the all the <laughs> This is the graphics. Uh, but yeah, man, I just, uh, it's just fucking weird. You ever see the show Roly Poly Oly? Yeah, that's what the shit looks like. Yeah. But that's, but yeah, I bombed a lot. Everyone bombs, but every time, that's the first time I bombed where I, I wanted to, I wanted to quit. <laughs> and oh, really? Then I got a check for 125 bucks and I was like, I can do this. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty funny. So were they... Did you bomb so hard because they they, they weren't paying attention? They were oh, so okay. loud and they were wasted, and I couldn't get their attention. Like I should have done crowd work, but I hadn't been doing comedy what long are you enough. Do? To... Hey, you way in the back. No, I would have just made no, fun. Of, I would have just made fun of someone in the front. I I I very like honestly, the dude said I could have just yelled at people. Like I didn't. You know what I mean? I was being too. I was being too to professional. Fun. Like if I, because here's the thing: is like well, I, know. I could have hate fucked the shit out of them, mm-hmm. and then they've been like, oh yeah, we can still hear the band. They don't care. Yeah, that's fair. But uh, so it was like uh, it was pretty brutal, dude. So that was pretty bad. It, I mean, it happens though. What's the hardest you've ever seen me kill? Uh, probably the um, the southern in. Uh, oh shit! It was probably I can't. I don't remember if it was. I think it was like mid-May, and uh, Kate Carroll and I drove up, and. Uh, I had a hot set, and I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to have the greatest set of tonight, besides Chris. And uh, and then you get on and you do the uh, the negative night, right? Oh, thing. yeah. That, oh my god. Like, I remember being in the, uh, behind that, like, bar in the yeah. back, you know, the, 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 yeah. the fence thing. And, like, that room was, like, loud. Like, that, it was... Dude, it's insane, man. Like, that's... That's a, such a good room, dude. Well, to me, that's, like... Rooms like that are why I do the other rooms. Because you, like, you get good doing the other rooms where it's, like, even, like, I don't know, man. Because like, it's, like, even an open mic when you kill it, an open mic, like, in Richmond or somewhere. Which is not easy, for the record. Yeah, but, like, when you kill there, it still doesn't sound the same as, like, literally killing in, like, a great room. No, not at all. Because killing in Richmond... Wait, you can't go through a fucking leaf? Um... Killing in Richmond is making like all the comics laugh. Yeah. When you kill in Charlottesville, it's like all the comics and audiences. There's like actual audience that like likes comedy. Which is nuts. Like the first time I went to Charlottesville after doing Richmond mics yeah. fucking four times a week for uh what was it, three months? Three or four months. I was getting laughs in places that I originally wrote as jokes, but they got so little laughs in Richmond, I was I forgot that they were meant to be funny. Yeah, you're just like, like this is just the words this is this is like word economy I can't get rid of here. No, I feel you man. Oh I but it was interesting, like I so I had these um like these lines, they just like got dead and dead to me because they never got laughs in Richmond. I say them in Charlotte so I was like, oh shit, I forgot I wrote that as a joke. I've come to see if you could please drop by for tea. Oh 
dear, I wish I could stop by. I've never actually seen you eat fuck you. What does this, what does this say about Miss fucking Spider? She that, gets every, that every person she invites, she has to complete a task for them. <laughs> To get them to call, like these people I don't want to spend time with you. These people don't no. want to spend time with you, Miss Spider. Beatles movie. Oh, it's him now. We're manipulating him. What the? Oh, Jesus! It's just a maze. Amazing. Oh, this sucks. I'm going to be so late for the party. They gave him one line. <laughs> Why didn't he just go out the fucking? <laughs> they gave him one line. Why didn't this Miss Spider just take? Him with her. Why can't you create it? Spider will be so disappointed if I am late. You just saw her. <laughs> Where'd she go? Through the fucking roof. <laughs> yeah, she just. Whoa, oh, yeah. By the way, that's his house, and he doesn't know how to get out. That is his home. Can you imagine being stuck in your house and being like, "Where's the fucking front door?" What a shit ant. What a guard. Yeah, shitty at being an ant. He gets no. That was it. That was the easiest shit ever. We're on medium. What the fuck is easy? <laughs> oh, what a great band. That was the uh, Star care. Wars thing, right? Don't care about most Oh, but family. you can't fast forward to the end of the party. Like, I want to see it. Oh, fuck this one. <laughs> I, here's the thing. <laughs> we're, not, we're not going to see the end of the party because you have to complete this shit. <laughs> For the record, I'll revert. I have never seen you hate fuck. I've seen you come close. Um, I try not to, man. Like You missed a, you missed a golden period of my life. When I was doing this room called Eddie's in Charlottesville. Oh, I've heard the legend of Eddie's. And I was doing Eddie's every Monday. And there's no one there. And the people that were there sucked. And I would just be saying the meanest shit things I could possibly think into a microphone. It's what taught me what was too far and what wasn't. What am I doing? Try it again. I, uh... Okay, I'm gonna... Pat Nawazic won't like this. But I, uh... I was on, uh, at Mojo's, and I showed up a little drunk. Yeah. But... It, it fizzled out to where I was just like, ugh. So I get on stage, and during Tom's hosting set, yeah. they're talking. These people are just talking, and they look like very VCU art students. What, what did it show me? This is the exact same flower. No, that one. There you go. That's not it. What? They're the same fucking flower. I feel like you, Oh. Well, no, this one was pink. The last one was red, but it's like... I love a pink flower. There you go. But the people were talking. And they wouldn't shut up during Tom. And, t you know, Tom, hello. he just walked over to them with the mic. It was like, hello. Like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so I got on stage and they kept talking during mine. So I was like, hey, shut up or get the fuck out. I was like, I was like, shut up right now or get the fuck out. And I did some crowd work with them before to where I made fun of them yeah. for being, looking the way they look. So I did that. And I hear Alex Hill in the back say to Franklin, this is so Pat Nawaz. <laughs> uh, it's true. Uh, Pat is, uh, doesn't give a shit. I love it. He's great. But let's see what we got I'm here. I'm a fan. He's not. What'd it tell you, Pink? Oh, you're so cool. I guess. I'm really, like... One more, one more and we're done here. Hello? Pink one with two little fucking grass yeah, things in the bottom. thick, though. Oh, that's a thick little fucking bee. Boom. I love a good bee. So, Alexander. Hey, thanks for all your help. Have you had a good time? Yeah, I, I have. I had a good we, time we have one more to beat. Oh, uh, yeah, you can try to beat it, but yeah. if you can't beat it, uh, I'm done. For yet. the record, Winston is uh, the only person to have called me Alexander in probably 12 years. Yeah, and it's really funny. It's my favorite bit that I'm doing right now. Um, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I just date his mom. It's kind of nuts. Winston and substitute teachers are the only ones who call me Well, Alexander. that's what I did for a while, and now I'm actually teaching. And, oh, uh, you did so. Yeah. And now you're at the tippy top. So you're going to get one shot. If you can't figure it out, we're going to be done. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not but while we do it. this, let's go ahead and plug your Twitter and shit. What ah, it's not worth it, but I'll tell you. Uh, well, I'll plug this. Franklin Neblet and I are going to be VCU, uh, WCVW's new morning radio host, and that'll start uh, in August, and that'll be a good time. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, the old Alex Castain, and if you don't know how to spell it, uh, I don't want you following me, so that's fine. Uh, Twitter is my name. Uh, Facebook is my name. Instagram is my name. Alex Castain. Yeah, so check it out. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be able to call into the radio show. Oh, and, without a uh, doubt. And that'll be pretty fun. That's what I want it to be. But on a serious note, you know, Alex is a new comic here. we got a bunch of new comics in Richmond. And uh, he's he's been putting in the work going uh, when, he went, when he went to Jersey for the summer, just putting in the work. Oh, I've been and, grinding. And uh, so it's good to see you, buddy. Good to have you Good out. to see you. Thank you so much for having me. What yeah, a, uh, fun. What a splendid time. You've been pretty time. good here. I, uh, 
I uh, just I have no one to go home to, so I'm just trying to make this last. No, speed it. And uh, tell your mom, uh, you know, I love her there, and um, uh, I'll be seeing her soon. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I'll do I, I, every time I do this on my web series, it's so she knows I'm thinking about it. <laughs> That's cool, my, you have know, you like, seen that like video Burnett, you know? of the the POW? Oh, wow. No. That got captured, and and in the video they made of him like. Yeah. Uh, like to home, like a hostage video. He blinked. Um, like oh yeah, help like, me in Morse code. That's dope. I don't know. Uh... Oh, I get it. Oh, I think the... you're matching the old colors. Ooh, Wait. I don't like the tone of that. That's, That's a triangle. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good for you, man. That's a that triangle. One. Oh okay. Is there a nine? I get it. Yeah, it's another triangle. That's kind of embarrassing that you fucked this uh, all up. I mean, it is. Um, but like I said, it's only for seven-year-olds. It's not for grown men. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what the struggle Wouldn't that is. be weird if a seven-year-old did better than us on this? Uh, I think they would. Look, I'm not too proud to... Uh... What would that be? Not even masculine. But... That's going to be one of these little... One of the little oh, little I didn't even know things. these were... Oh, I don't even know if we have access to those. Search those first. Mm-hmm. And the other one's gonna be the fucking same shit. Oh, you do it in order. All right, this game's all kooky, gooky. So. I can't wait. That's to what it. they came up with. I can't wait to hear the whole song. And Simon and Schuster made this. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be educational. You're all there. No, I'm not. No, wrong one. It's the one to your left. There you go. Okay. Thank you. So what was the first game you got? Uh, first game, I, I really don't know, man. We did a Brett Morin thing. We did yeah, that. We, did. we, we, we circled that. back out, you know. I uh, I don't... I don't know what the first game I ever had was. I remember the first game I really, really loved was like uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah? Seven. And I heard that's the best one. Uh, It's not my favorite, but it was the one that got me into it, so... Final Fantasy VIII That's was one fair. of my favorites, and uh, I liked RPGs for a while. Uh, that I, I think I was pretty close to there. I, I think that if my life had gone a different way, I would have totally been a weeb. Oh, Weeaboo. I could really see that. Yeah, like because it's literally like because I did like anime and stuff when I was younger. I still watch some anime or whatever, you know. But um, if I hadn't played sports and like Basketball done other sports. stuff, like I would have totally weaved out and been a loner. Like I, but I found comedy, you know? Well, that's what I did. I, I used to play sports. I played baseball. I played basketball. I hate basketball. Basketball is my least favorite sport. I love it. Besides golf, but I don't consider Oh, golf's it. a joke. Golf is a big, fat joke. I hate it. Golf's God's yeah, biggest we go. joke. We're going to finish this. I'm going to finish all over the place. Hold on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This whole a few place. more. Um, this is exciting. First game that I devoted my life to was uh, Skyrim. Okay. I got that's it. That's like was recent. A... I forget you're young though. You're well, that's young. that's the first game I put like 300 hours. Yeah, that's in case you can't tell. That's the sound of a violin, not the sound of a. I don't know how this game works, so I'm just kind of shucking and jiving over here. You click that one first, and so now you know that that's a harp. Okay. I figured it out a little late in the game, but uh, yeah. literally late we in the, the game. Time. It's a. Now they all need to play together. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's uh. Sounds like a ringtone. Yeah. It's pretty good, now let's gotta see the ending cutscene. We just beat the game. You're the second a person on the show to beat a game while being on the show. Really? The first is Patrick Miller, where we beat Barney's Hide and Seek Ooh. adventure. I heard that's a toughie. And uh. Watch this cutscene. I used to play. Hey, dude, that Grandpa Spider's creepy as fuck. Yeah, he looks familiar, though. Oh, I thought I was gonna cut it. Break this shit. They're not even trying with the mouth. But Alex, you had a fun time? I had a great time. Guys, Thank you for having me. Thanks for checking out Comics and Consoles. I'm Winston Hodges. This is Alexander Castain. It is good to have Thank him you. on the show. Uh, I'll see you later, Alex's mom. Ugh. I don't want to use her first name. You know, it's pretty rude. I'll see you later, Rhonda. I'll uh, see you later. I'll see you later. I love you. I love you, Mom. Have a good one.